So you guys are all probably wondering it probably why I called wasn't you the here. secret high five. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was the general I'm wondering if you're right? seeing you up. Yes, why did you invite him? Um, well, because I guess I was in town. Oh, okay. Because he kept calling us. Yeah, that's how. No, that's how the donor shows have gone lately. Is Michael goes, "Oh, I'm here. We should make a donor show." And I go, "Oh, I guess we can probably do." Oh, that working soon. on your schedule. Yeah. Well, I have yeah. to share something. Well, God, why'd you have to get that out in the open? Yeah. That's I, right. I, <laughs> that's I guess it's. it's I, I have to share something. I am. I am totally aware that I'm the only woman in the room. Oh wow, you are. Uh, That's number one. Too wait, sure. wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep this to your age, all right? Go ahead. And I also am aware that I'm probably the oldest in the room. Uh -huh. That's not true. This is this is. Oh, fake. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Technology. But I really have to confess that I've never. I don't know the cartoon. Is that the cartoon that's in uh, the Press Democrat? The what? Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, it's and Hobbs. It's, it's been a the, while. Right, or, right, okay. Yeah, it's Who's that. Well, it's by yeah. Bill Watterson, and there's the tiger, and he looks exactly like Tigger, and then Pretty there's much. this, uh, and then it's there's true. the little kid Calvin. He has and little blonde haired spiky oh, okay, now I know He has mean. like okay. magical imagination adventures. Now I know who you mean. Super yeah. neurotic. So why did you invite me? Um, I mean, the only woman and the oldest. Um, well, yeah, that's true. I mean, who wants an old lady in the room? <laughs> because <laughs> you, you can throw us <laughs> off yeah. from the usual. Because of our yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Because we, don't, we yeah. don't talk about anything. We don't talk about anything. You see, well, I, see, I, you see, I do like women's <laughs> faces, and I tend to be a little bit on the serious side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, well, I'm, try, I'm trying to go with the flow of the. Well, hey, I don't know. I think we're very serious. Well, we don't know what to do. I want to talk about politics and religion. Hey, how's my goal Do politics suck or politics? Politics rule. <laughs> is that a topic? <laughs> yeah. That's a very cynical question <laughs> for a serious conversation. You get to choose. Sucking rulers. You know what? I want to talk about oh. 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 the uh, socioeconomic uh, problem in the Middle East and how it relates to <coughs> United States politics. You, you just oh. you're just making that up, Steve. What? Exactly. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So okay. So if we're going to talk politics, I have to say something. I don't. I have to say something since I'm the oldest one in the room. I'll interfere. Right now, we have an election coming up in June. Well, and they're, and they're voting. June? Are you oh, who's over eighteen here? Oh, we're. Oh, I think we're all who's over eighteen. Are you all registered? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Okay. You got to pay got attention to local politics, especially young people. I mean, look what's happening with schools, with the tuitions and everything. It's, it's all a bunch going, of yeah. old yeah. fogies yeah. on the boards uh -huh. that are appointed by the people that are voted in at city councils and board of supervisors. So if we don't pay attention to local politics, then we're going to get the crap that we have because oh, yeah. the, you know because if money rules, then you're going to get a bunch of junk. But if people rule, there's more people in the world that can vote and can get these people in at least as a start, you know. And a lot of people talk about anarchy and all that other stuff. I don't disagree with that. Mm -hmm. But what I say is given the conditions that we have today, Given the police department that's coming out with all full force, like a bunch of animals, you know, right now the best thing we can do is vote in people that will at least temper. What, now I know that's a boring subject, but at least temper oh, what's going on. No, you're you're speaking to a room, <coughs> regardless of age, demographically, <coughs> and everything. We're a little more aware of local politics because three of us work in. Oh <laughs> yeah, and then they and then those As three documentarians. keep us a little keep us <laughs> I kind of tend to keep us a little more informed about uh, things that we wouldn't know about. Well, you saw when you when you filmed when yeah, you filmed the I, Charter I just, Review. I just try yeah. to think. I try and stay neutral. I I, I have opinions about local mm -hmm. politics, but I. I don't express them on air since I have my job is right. No, yeah, but what I'm saying is, I didn't, neutrally. I didn't mention specific people. Yeah. I said pay attention. Oh yes, yeah. everyone should register and vote and take a part of it all. Yeah. Oh yeah. Take this for instance. Take I want to take it apart. I would <coughs> definitely want to take part in taking it apart. I once <laughs> knew a man. I said to him. Hey, did you hear that there's this Prop 86 trying to pass? Can you believe it? They're trying to raise cigarette uh, prices up $2.60. And the bill's ri written loosely. And they could pretty much use the funding for whatever the crap they want. And even firemen and doctors and policemen are against it. And he goes, yeah, that sounds pretty crappy. And I'm like, you should vote against it. He goes, oh, no, man. I don't vote. Why didn't he vote? So... 
you know, if that Maybe bill passed and then he was like, oh, man, I hate this tax. I've been like, man, I don't want to hear it because you had your chance. <laughs> Well, maybe told your be comic, Steven. You had your maybe chance. Maybe he wanted funny. to pay more for cigarettes. Maybe he, maybe he, 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 he felt like he didn't have enough self control, and if he didn't vote against it, then they'd make him pay more for cigarettes, and then he would. So what you're saying is he can't rationalize in a way that would cause him to vote effectively. He's obviously the guy who presented um, the bill. Maybe. <laughs> oh my God, Danny has a, d- Christ, a decent man. point. What yeah, if, what if he had something to gain from the bill? If, if this was Scooby Doo, I doubt it. He was a schizophrenic <laughs> with a BB in the middle of his head. Maybe he was dying. Maybe he was dying, and he felt he felt if he didn't vote, other people would vote it would go up, and then it would prevent like, other people. Like not his people. responsibility. Maybe yeah, he's just like yeah. wants yeah. to commit yeah. yeah. that's human yeah. personality. Yeah. Yeah. He's so committed anarchist. Yeah, I mean, maybe that is an excuse for not voting. Like, if you're about to die, I mean, maybe you have other. Things to do on election day. You know? yeah, I mean, like die. Voting. I mean, voting is important, but if you've got like seventy-two hours to live, I don't I think do you cares. should. Yeah, do I exactly. vote or save? I you have seventy-two vote. hours to live. Or find Please, your vote is your legacy. Evil clowns <laughs> to your waiting room, so you'll die before election day. Well, I wonder if all the people oh, who <laughs> they know your district. Oh, oh what is it? Oh. <laughs> Oh, this place is nice. Wow. Well, you know, if, you know, one of the things that I say to people when they say, "Well, I'm not going to vote," I say, "Why aren't you going to vote? Well, it's, it's a bunch of crap." You know, I don't all think these it And I say, "Look, it. If you're not going to vote and you're protesting, then vote for a third party. At least give them oh, some yeah. percentage. You know, don't just sit there. I mean, when you look at other countries that are dying so they can vote, and here we have the right. And women, I'll tell you something. I don't know. Did you hear me when I spoke at the? Charter review. When I said about the women, I said if they, we went to the charter review, okay. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to put this issue on the ballot. And there's a group of people that don't even want it to go to the ballot. And I thought, how dare them? What's the uh, ballot? What's the ballot? The issue thing? was the issue was whether Santa Rosa should have uh, district elections or not. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that, what? That so what sense. I said? Santa what Rosa's I said was, town. and I say this to all my women friends. How dare you not vote? It took us, everybody should watch Iron Jawed Angels. Anybody see Iron Jawed Angels? That sounds hell familiar. And it's with uh, Hillary Swank. It took us from 1916 to 1920 when we got the vote. They actually waterboarded women. They actually arrested them and waterboarded them and said, how dare you think that you you have the right to vote? Men, excuse me, I know it's all guys Mm -hmm. here, but this is another generation. So women not voting, to me, that's just... That's just disgusting, period. But anyway, that's my two cents. I don't want to get too serious. Water is awesome. Yeah, awesome. we did that. <laughs> Sir, you like your waterboarding? Water boarding? You we love like waterboarding. Yeah, water oh, God. On the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me ask this. Who here loves Mormons? Anyone? Mormons? Oh, dude, yeah. Sure. Yeah? I yeah. Give one guy. Love. Is that like a campfire? If this one Mormons? guy voted on Mormon law, <laughs> and we all always were ran by Mormon law, and he was the one Since Mormon, me, one he? Mormon in the room who could decide on what he <laughs> believed in, and the rest of us couldn't decide and couldn't get up off our butts, you know what the law would be? It would be a Mormon law. That's when my there's goal. ten people in a room, and Four you say, hey, we need to decide Four on a topping, and the largest vote wins, well, guess what? Four people say pepperoni, the rest of them scramble and can't decide between chicken and wombo combo and pesto and vegetarian and all that stuff. And then four votes on boring old pepperoni wins. Even worse is if it's cheese to me, but like, you know, pepperoni sucks to some people. And, uh, <laughs> and then and boom, <laughs> boom, pepperoni. Everyone's like, oh, I've Wait, we're not talking about metaphor because I'm so hungry. We're no. not really talking about <laughs> <about pizza, laughs> pizza, are we? You know, no. And the thing you is, know, that's why Utah is run by Mormons. First letter in pizza is it's because of other people can't okay. decide. <laughs> that's exactly other what it's saying. Other people yeah. can't decide. <laughs> and they don't want to vote. They even try because yeah. you know, more than half of them don't think no, Mormon is a code word for a certain party's presidential candidate. I don't think no, so. No, no Mormons no. are all right. Yes, Mormons <laughs> include that guy who I don't really I want to talk about right now. But Mormons also include um, Orson Scott Card and Mike Allred and the others. Revolution. 
Yeah. The industrial the Dude, Mormon, in no, the, no, the industrial uh, revolution started before the Church of Mormon. <laughs> World War yeah. Two. You like yeah. your Pepsi cans now? Um. And all right, I'm confused. Yeah, I didn't understand. How do you feel wrong. about the advancements in Jello? Um. <laughs> And with what that, I <laughs> 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 uh, he grew up in Utah. He might know. He no, no, he he's just a Mormon. Yeah. Yeah. Is he a Mormon, a Mormon or a Mormon? No, he, gr- he just grew he up is, in Utah. He, 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 may he may grew up in he, a Mormon he, he, He's probably a Mormon, yeah. <laughs> but I did not know about the Jello. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question for everybody. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel? I mean, you all have girlfriends, I assume, except for whoever, <laughs> 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 whoever raised their hand and said, you know, I don't know, maybe he's not, a, he's, I don't know. You know, in today's world. Oh, 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 oh I said I love Mormons, not like that. Okay. I, when no, I said no, I love no, Mormons, no, I meant no, as okay. friends. <laughs> <laughs> just to be 100% clear. Okay. Okay. Here's my question. How do you guys, as men, as men, because you Just are young men. men, very, very beautiful young men, by the way. <laughs> oh, it's it's wonderful to be young, you know. I remember, and she was looking at me, dude. Well, <laughs> she was looking over <laughs> <in her direction. laughs> You are kind of cute. <laughs> but, yeah. And you re- re- just remember one thing: youth is a fleeting moment. You know, oh, yeah. it really goes by too really fast. I'm 72, so I mean, I'm what? really the old woman in the room. But anyway, the question I have to ask you is. How do you feel about all this women's stuff that's going on? Which ones? The one where, you know, all Planned of a sudden no contraceptives, you know, all of a sudden no oh, yeah, health care, on stuff. and on and well, on. Well, so How is your thought? What is your thought on that as men? It might be well, that the government um, hoaxed a whole thing for women to get to vote so that when they're voting and they're also working jobs, that they're all consumers now. So they are all uh, playing into the economy. So you think it's just a joke? It could be. God, it could, so it, 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 the yeah. thing is, everything could be a setup, and you never know whether it is or not. I mean, <laughs> really, the big question to me, and I don't exactly know, because I don't know what kind of investments he has, but the question to me is what, and people should be looking to investigate this, <laughs> is what does Rick Santorum have to gain from... Planned Parenthood, um, from Planned Parenthood having to close its doors, if that's what ends up happening, and I don't know <laughs> if that is necessarily going to end up happening, or if they're going to lose All their funding or anything like that. Oh, but birth control is a question, backwards talking point. And the the question is, in a month or two anyway. what? <laughs> what? Yeah, that's true. What Once does Rick Santorum the center, the, have to gain from that? I don't know. It without that, it's I not even know. a present. But it, it's not. It's not much. even a point they're going to gain any points. On What's but this everything question about getting defunded? The library. Well, the oh no, 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 actually, that wasn't Planned Parenthood. Well, that what wasn't Planned Parenthood in particular? Well, they're trying to get just defunded. Okay, but they're well, also trying to. The, the latest thing exactly. was that they wanted. Uh, they wanted to. Uh, there was making sure some, health insurance wouldn't cover birth control. Yeah, yeah. There That's was uh, some people who tried to make uh, make sure that the new health care legislation. Um, made it so that they didn't have to cover birth control um, and oh. so in their health plans well, um, because they're like the church or whatever even though they probably didn't even think about that like 10 years ago their health plan that what's funny is that 10 years ago their health plan probably even covered it they probably wait, didn't wait. even it probably wasn't even an issue for wait, them wait, wait, that's wait. what I would bet hold, hold the phone hold the phone hold the phone hold the phone, hold the phone. so People from the church want a special health care plan it's package. It's more like it's more that like well, they want that an exempt, they want it's like an exemption Memorial that wants the right to not give you it, whereas Kaiser doesn't give a crap. You know what I mean? Oh, they want to be able to withhold it from yeah. you. Yeah. No, say you're my Because it's ethically they're ethically opposed. To they want to be able so they want to be able to come up with plan. They want to be able to get to 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 have plans for their employees that specifically don't have coverage of I birth control. I think I that's say basically let's pass the a bill. latest controversy. I say let's I pass a bill. Any employer who wants to deny health coverage for any sexual <laughs> reason <laughs> also <laughs> has to withhold <laughs> their rights to want? any health care dealing with their genital region. Isaac's head? <laughs> oh, like yeah. you hear As what he said? The whole show is in his head. Did you hear what he said? I totally agree with you. Yeah, what? I totally agree with you. So that they have to have 
did they have to have the same health If they want to everybody? restrict like someone else's health care yeah. dealing with their sexual organs, they also they have to withhold their own, own rights to their own health care. Right? They shouldn't have a rule over organs. people's rights. They must just their own. If they're willing to give up their own rights, whatever. that should say enough. I say get out of my body. Yeah. I still think if someone's willing to give up yeah. their own rights, they can't get out of my body. I hear what you're saying, but I kind of think that even if somebody is willing to give up their own rights, they can't have mine. Like, I'm like, yes, yeah, I think it's true. very yeah, admirable very that deal. you're willing to like punish yourself <laughs> and self-flagellate for, to, like, for whatever <laughs> cause you deem is <laughs> fit you know. and that you want to <laughs> crush your own life. Dude, but not point. That's a point. Oh, that's point. right. Because okay, so employers, and, um, employers the, should only be allowed to withdraw their own rights to their own health care for their own coverage exactly. for that matter. Because what they're saying is, like, you hire me. <laughs> <laughs> Say, for example, you hire me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you're a Catholic. And you don't believe oh, in birth control. Oh, you're going to play some music. Oh, okay. okay. That's a terrible Catholic. Go forth and multiply. But, yeah. And so would you, all of a sudden, you're track, telling Michael, me because, because, because I'm not a there's Catholic, there's a feeling that's said at this table that gonna play us out. your hair has oh, wait, been no, no, wait, marginalized no control. in the okay. second half of the episode. Absolutely. And, and <laughs> that just can't be stood for. I just want to know what the doctors are doing. Do you have that in your health care for his employees? He calls it a dingle hopper. Oh, that's what it is. It's all about morality. How about this? Oh. It should cost them more to remove it from the package. But, Danny, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> to withhold I mean, that honestly, right, they should cost oh, them yeah. more. Honestly, and that person who's working for them should quit. Honestly, though, from the health insurance, honestly, though, Stephen. From the health insurance kind of company's point of view, what? it would probably make sense to cost. Yeah, it, it would probably make it sense fuck it up. for the health gender. insurance company oh. to set their rates more for a package that specifically um, leaves out birth control, oh, just hard. because <laughs> the, the, of all of the health advantage, the health benefits of birth control. If someone's not on birth control, it's like it, 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 it's, 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 it means that like they're likely to have that many more health problems from like health problems from like having kids and things like that so what you actually <laughs> said what you said they probably are they, That's right, they some of them know. might already so do here's another donut some of them might already do that. so I'm gonna leave this room and go to another thing oh homophobe over here yeah. fuck you <laughs> what are you doing uh, he's gotta go later later. Well, rendering calls. No, I got nice to work. I got okay, I'm glad we had the religious and political talk. That's why I came in. Um. Yeah. So maybe people who tell people what to do with their genitals should first ask themselves: Do I even have genitals? And do I want to use them? If why are they no, say no genitals. Well, that's what they're trying to cover: is what people do with their genitals. And that's the only area I can find <laughs> well, any thoughts in. And, it's, it's, and they're not trying to govern what Jews do with their genitals as much as what Gentiles do with their genitals. No, not Jews. Yes, I know. I was waiting for that for a while. Okay. But they want to tell the Gentiles what to do with their genitals. That's really what they're shooting for here. All I want to be is part. Of that dono show But I don't know If I should go To that place called The dono show